This is Ira Black with Hella Metal Jen on Barrier Rocks. Hi, this is Hella Metal Jen from Barrier Rocks with Ira Black, formerly of Heathen, Vicious Rumors, Chris Caffrey of Sabotage, Metal Church, and Lizzie Borden. Wow, what an extensive catalog. How have you been? Very good. Doing great. Got a new band I'm playing with now, so that that's the history. Now I have a current thing going on. That's a band called Prophecy, and the called the Transatlantic Metal Projects. Brian O'Connor of Vicious Humors on vocals, myself on guitar, Fabian Schwartz on other guitar, and uh, Gunter on bass, and Timo Weiss on drums. Great. And how can we find out more about that? Uh, go to myspace.com forward slash prophecy band, and that's prophecy with an S, so it's P-R- O P H E S Y B A N D. When will we see you perform in the Bay Area? Possibly. Oof, that's a good question. Um, th- there's nothing technically said at this point in time. Um, most of the stuff I'm doing, like, like the the Prophecy uh, band, you know, because they're you know, basically we, we have to set up a tour to you know get to all the cities. You know, we, we can't just do something in the Bay Area, but. Um, I, I have another uh, thing I'm doing. It, it's, it's a TV show, actually. I signed a production deal for a television show. And I can't really talk about the details of it right now and, and the, the name of it or anything, but it's with Andrew Freeman, who uh, sang with Lynch Mob. And he was recently with uh, The Offspring playing second guitar and backup vocals. He's a vocalist and the drummer from Bullet Boys, Jimmy DeAnda. So maybe that might bring us up to the bay, too. So I, I have a few irons in the fire that, you know, hopefully it brings us around to the bay soon. Very good. We have to have that. Definitely. So what other things do you have going on? Oh, let's see. Uh, I'm doing uh, this another project. I, I really just played guitar on it in the beginning. I, I played guitar in one song. Uh, Barack Obama, uh, one of his speeches about medical marijuana um, was added to the intro of the song. And it's called I'm a Medical Patient. And it's uh, advocating the, the use of medical marijuana. And uh, the, the guys involved are actually uh, Bay Area guys, E-40 and Ken Estes and Selly Sell and all these guys. But uh, they, they had this song, I'm a medical patient, so they had me play guitar on that. So that, that, that's another thing that I'm kind of got my hand in on right now and stuff. So. Hey, where can we hear that at? Uh, granddaddyperp.com. And that's uh, G-R-A-N-D-A-D-D-Y-P-U-R-P.com. So I heard that you've um, recorded with Vinnie Paul of Pantera. How was that? Oh, that, that was great. You know, um, about four years ago, four and a half years ago, I recorded a record with Paul Shortino, who sang for Rough Cut and Quiet Riot. And uh, he gave me a call and said, hey, uh, Carrot Top, the comedian, wants wants us to do Send in the Clowns. Uh, if it's not a Frank Sinatra song, he, he, he did a cover of, of it himself. But uh, so basically, Paul called me and said, dude, you're the guy who can do this. Make a metal version of this song. So I, I put it together. And then he calls me, hey, Vinnie Paul's going to play. And I'm like, great. So I go to Vegas, and uh, Carrot Top's there. And uh, Vinnie Paul showed up like two hours late. And everyone's kind of tripping, you know, like, oh, my God, is he going to show up? Is, you know, he wasn't taking any calls. And all of a sudden, he shows up with like eight people. And they're all wearing clown outfits, including oh Vinnie Paul. That's great. And uh, <laughs> we, we, we couldn't believe it. So we're like, what, what is this? And then uh, I sat there and just hashed a song with, out with uh, Vinny for about you know a couple hours, and we recorded it. And and uh, now Carrot Top's using the song for his uh, uh, intro uh, for his Vegas show. He's got like a ongoing contract at the Luxor, so he's using it as his intro song. Very cool. Yes, the list does go on. I, I, <laughs> I've been working with uh, Versailles Records. They put out these albums, these uh, CD compilations of, you know, they have a bunch of known artists do covers of other people's songs. Like they have, uh, the, the one I did that came out last year was a tribute to Buck Cherry, which I thought was funny. You know, it's like, have they been around long enough to have something like that? But whatever. So uh, Troy Patrick Farrell plays drums for White Lion, a buddy of mine I met at Bang Your Head in 2005, uh, called me up and he's like, hey, you want to play guitar on this? Like yeah, sure. And Chaz West sang on it from uh, from uh, Bonham's band, the, the vocalist, and uh, that was on Versailles Records. So that came out last year. And then uh, I got in touch uh, with um, Jake, the owner of Versailles Records, and uh, he wants me to do a few more. So right now, in, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be recording uh, for an ACDC tribute, and I'm I got Chris Slade playing drums on it. He played drums in ACDC, so so that's kind of a cool thing I'm working on. Also, and anything else that you want to add? 
um, th th there's a project. It's going to probably take a good year before it comes out, but I'm writing songs for uh, the guitar player. Well, he actually plays bass for um, Galactic Cowboys. His name's Monty Colvin. He has a band also where he plays guitar in, in, in the band. It's called Crunchy. And uh, his drummer contacted me, Rodney Kaler, and he's like, hey, we need someone to write some songs. So he hired me a few weeks ago for that. So, you know, I'm, I got about eight tunes done. I'm, I'm doing about four more for him. And so, you know, I don't know when that will come out because I'm not – controlling that project but you know I, i've written songs for it and that'll probably come out in about a year or so i think i understand you're endorsed yeah um, i'm endorsed with uh, dean guitars and uh i have an endorsement with pv also and uh dean markley strings which is different than dean guitars and uh i also have an endorsement a speaker endorsement with uh um tone tubby speakers with they're made out of hemp you've um you're endorsed by dean um how about a signature guitar yeah, it's been in the works for a while. It should have been done long ago, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm a perfectionist, basically. Somewhere between that and and uh, dealing with a few people that have been a little bit hard to, to get uh, under uh, schedule, my schedule anyways. But, uh, yeah, it's it's called the Chromo Flame. It's, a, it's by Dean. Well, I designed it, but it's a Dean guitar. It's an ML um, body, like, you know, dime bag play and... and Rick Derringer played, a lot of people did, but uh, basically what it is, it's, um, I had a luthier hand carve flames out of the body, carve the wood out, and it's not only on the front, the flames, but it wraps around all eight edges of the guitar. And then uh, uh, the, the same guy, Jim Dugan, uh, we cut out aluminum metal and polished it and inlaid it into the guitar. So uh, it's been kind of a trial and error thing, and and... All the metal works on even the Dean logo was hand cut out of metal and inlaid. Now I'm uh, waiting for the uh, final paint job. So it's, uh, being, it's being painted uh, black lacquer. Mm -hmm. So we had to tape off all the metal to paint it. So it, it, it's, you know, it's been a labor of love really, but you know, people are expecting it to be done, you know, a couple of years ago really, but it, it's, it's so about 95% done. Yeah. So you've been to Europe a lot. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, last time I was there in 2008 um, with Lizzie Borden, that was my, well, I, I was there twice. I did Sweden Rock and then three weeks later did uh, Bang Your Head. And uh, the Bang Your Head was, was my official 20th time to Europe. So I've toured a lot of different bands over there. And uh, I, I've toured America a lot too, but it, Europe, you know, uh, the fans are just diehard for, for metal and stuff. And uh, yeah, the, uh, in 2008, um, after Sweden Rock, uh, my fiance uh, and I drove to. Uh, we stayed over there for like three weeks, and we drove to England, went to Stonehenge, and a lot of these pictures and stuff I put up, uh, like on my MySpace and my Facebook and stuff like that. But you can go there and see, you know, a lot of my pictures from my European experiences. Great, great. I'll look for that. I also wanted to find out. I know that you're originally from the Bay Area. Um, Vicious Rumors and Heathen were Bay Area bands. Um, now you're in LA. What's that like? It's a lot different in a lot of ways. Um, I think that uh, you know LA has a thriving music scene. You know that there's you know hundreds of shows every night. There's a lot of venues in San Francisco. It's it's not as uh, you know there's more of an underground in San Francisco, and uh, you know they they both have their upsides and downsides. You know LA there's too too much stuff going on and it's hard to even get control of it, but. Uh, the Bay Area is fun in a lot of ways because people that really love metal or love whatever they like are really into it. Like, they, you know, they'll kill for it. In L.A., people will jump from one thing to the next without thinking twice about it, you know, so. Thank you, Ira. This is great. So tell us, tell us where we can find you um, online if we were looking for updates. Okay. Uh, a, a great place to go to, to see uh, my current metal project, Prophecy, is uh, myspace.com forward slash prophecy band. That's prophecy with an S. And, uh, or you can go to my MySpace, my MySpace site, and uh, that's just Ira Black, forward slash Ira Black, or go to Google and search my name, Ira Black, and you know, you'll, you'll see what's up and coming there. Very good. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. This is Hella Metal Jen with Ira Black on Bay Area Rocks. Thanks.